Well, we haven't heard about CERN in a long time, but it's coming back, folks. And this time it's going to be firing up at 13.6 trillion electron volts. It's been out for a while, for about three plus years, but it's coming back. And from their own website right now, a new period of data taking begins on Tuesday, the 5th of July, for the experiments at the world's most powerful particle accelerator, the Large Hadron Collider, the LHC, after more than three years of upgrade and maintenance work. Beams have already been circulating in CERN's accelerator complex since April, with the LHC machine and its injectors being recommissioned to operate with new higher intensity beams and increased energy. Now the LHC operators are ready to announce, quote, stable beams, the condition allowing the experiment to switch on all their subsystems and begin taking the data that will be used for physics analysis. The LHC will run around the clock for close to four years at a record energy, as we mentioned, of 13.6 trillion electron volts, TEV, providing greater precision and discovery potential than ever before. And uh, they're going to be running a live stream on their social media channels and a high-quality Eurovision satellite link starting at 4 p.m. CEST on the 5th of July. Live commentary from the CERN Control Center, available in five languages, English, French, German, Italian, and Spanish. Walk the viewers through the operation stages that take proton beams from the ejection into the LHC to collisions for physics at the four interaction points where the experiments are located. And they say there will be a live Q&A session with experts from the accelerators and experiments, which will conclude the live stream. So I want to make you aware of this. This is making the rounds now on uh, the news. But as usual, <laughs> I know you got a lot of comments. Leave them down below. Please share the TNS reports. For Texas News Studio, Mark Myers, we'll be talking to you at a new report. And take care.